Welcome to this immersive meditation journey on how to stop contaminated knowledge from silencing your inner wisdom. And if you are new here, what we do is I have a little talk, I have maybe a quote, some writing, and then I lead you through an immersive meditation to connect you with your inner wisdom. And if you enjoy it, I would love to have you join my son and I in a community called The Wellspring, where we do these live and then we share and go back and forth in the community all together. It is wonderful. So before we get into this, can you grab a pen, a paper, a journal, something that you can write down what you want to remember and take with you? That's what we do together. We go inside. This isn't the typical meditation. This is an immersive experience where we take a topic, and today it's really about contaminated knowledge, because that is something that I have had to deal with, and that's what steals my peace. And back to the topic, it does silence my inner wisdom. So, Make sure that you are situated, you've got everything, and maybe even some hydration, whatever you need. I want you to have everything that you need, and let's go into this topic together. I brought out an old book. Remember the Four Agreements? Well, he has another book called The Voice of Knowledge, and he talks about when we are born, we have this beautiful innocence to love and to be happy and to explore life. And then the longer that we live, the people in our lives, the institutions, the grownups, all that fill our head with knowledge. Here's some of the symptoms of a head full of knowledge and not being connected to wisdom. Here's some of the symptoms that I have. A feeling of being in a grind, uh, not feeling like myself, feeling out of sorts, uh, not having peace. That, that's basically the main one. But here's the problem that I have faced is I will then kind of deny that, not spend time really acknowledging, how am I really doing? And then I get overcommitted. I overthink. I overdo. I stay really busy, and I may even do something to excess, like at this point in my life, I might exercise too much or something. So that's what I want to help you today in our immersive journey that we're going to do a little bit later. I want to open up the conversation for you of what contaminated knowledge might look like. So I'm actually going to read, I'm always reading from books, but it's the sleeve of the book that really summarizes so well the problem. Okay. And if you want, why don't you sit back right where you are, if it's safe, and close your eyes. And I'm just going to read to you. And with your eyes closed, you can breathe in and out through your nose. And this is from the voice of knowledge. Before we learn to speak, our true nature is to love and be happy, to explore and enjoy life. As little children, we are completely authentic. Our actions are guided by instinct and emotions. We listen to the silent voice of our integrity. Once we learn a language, the people around us hook our attention and program us with knowledge. But that knowledge is contaminated with lies. With our attention focused on all the knowledge in our head, we no longer perceive the world through the eyes of love. We only perceive what we have learned to believe. Take a few breaths here. 
and allow the edges of your eyes to soften. And I want you to hear those words again. With our attention focused on all the knowledge in our head, we no longer perceive the world through the eyes of love. We only perceive what we have learned to believe. And I want you to just breathe here for a moment. The voice of knowledge comes alive inside our head. What is that voice telling us? And my question is, what is that voice telling you? Slowly open your eyes. And I want to go on with what he says this voice is telling us. He says, mostly lies. The voice never stops talking, judging, gossiping, and abusing us. It constantly sabotages our happiness and keeps us from enjoying a reality of truth and love. If that might be one of the voices in your head, the voice of the world, not the voice of being about love and happiness and exploring and enjoying life, well, this might be a real good time to enjoy this journey. I can tell you that taking these moments inside yourself without somebody else's opinion, without somebody else's judgment, intellect is the best thing that you can do. Because this area of contaminated knowledge, because if it's knowledge from the outside, it's somebody else's. And I want you to be able to hear from that inner wisdom. And if it has been silenced for a while, you've spent too much time in the world. And this finds you at a place where you might be feeling frustrated, not yourself, going through the motions. Then I can tell you this Immersive meditation journey might just be that thing that you need to be able to come back and be that authentic self, that part of you that really wants to live with more exploration and more happiness. So let me see if I have remembered everything. I think I have. Let me just see here. Yeah, I have. So what I want you to do is I want you to get situated so that your body is completely supported. And I am still going to be talking and guiding, but I am going to turn my camera off. Enjoy this time. Before we go inside. I want to make sure that you are taken care of. So all notifications off all things that can notify you. I want to make sure you have hydration, you have Kleenex, you have pen and paper. And if you want, you can get so comfortable that you could almost drift off into a wonderful state of peacefulness. Maybe that's sitting right straight up. Maybe it's lying down. If you are going to lie down, put a bolster underneath your knees. 
Put a little blanket over your tummy, something over your eyes if you want. And take this moment, oh yeah, I got to tell the other humans that I'm going to be unavailable for an hour. And also pets. Sometimes when we lay down, all of a sudden the pets are like, oh, you're on the floor. Oh, you're not moving. It's playtime. So really take care of you. And I want you to sit back and close your eyes and allow the breath to be slow and steady. beginning with right where you are. Breathing in right and breathing out here. And leave what has happened before this moment over there. And if you have to keep remembering that, it's okay. Breathing in right and breathing out here. And you can also notice what's on your mind And that might be the world's knowledge. And you can even imagine it as a hat. And you can take it off. And if you have been trying or doing or feeling so much responsibility or pressure. You can take off that jacket that is too tight, that doesn't allow you to breathe. Breathing in right and breathing out here. Breathing in right and breathing out now. And you can use those words as a focal point, as a place to come back to over and over in any way that you wish. And notice you right here. Right now. And give yourself five breaths to let go what has perhaps followed you into this moment. Put whatever it is over there and maybe outside of the room or the building. Sometimes I need things to be off the planet. And take one last breath. I want you to take it all the way in through the nose. Hold it at the top. Hold it, hold it. And then when you're ready to exhale, let it out through the mouth. 
and allow your hands to shake, readjust, come back to breathing in right and breathing out here. And breathing in right and breathing out now. Become aware of the front of your body from the top of your head down to the top of your toes, the whole front of your body. What you have been facing. And then Become aware of the back of your body, the back of your head all the way down to your heels. What's behind you? And let that go. I want you to come into the center of you and let's place the attention on your heart. Those words, to love, to be happy, to explore and enjoy life. In the next few breaths, you find yourself in the most beautiful meadow with a beautiful white horse off in the distance. It's majestic. And you just find yourself there looking because this horse is your guide today. The horse looks up and it knows why you are here. And you look down and you realize, oh, I'm barefoot. And the grass is wet And right now, I am a child. I don't know anything about riding a horse. That would be knowledge. But your instincts, your heart feels connected, and the horse begins to come over as you begin to get close to this horse. There are no words here. There is only love. Exploration. The horse knows everything that it needs to about you. As you begin to make contact, you realize there is something so familiar. Something so soothing about the presence of this horse. I don't know if you're going to just be there or ride it. I don't know if it will fly, but I do know that within you is a journey. My voice will be quiet. Allow yourself to be taken somewhere beautiful. Enjoy.
as you come back to my voice. I want you to find a place where you and the horse can be. And bring all of your attention into your heart. And in this image, see what is there for you. My truth is, I want you to only listen to you. Listen to that whisper within. When it comes to what you are living with, living through, my truth is And remember, no one else is listening. I want you to truly allow yourself to be honest. What else wants to be heard? My voice will be quiet again. Listen for the faint whisper of you. And then I want you to check in within yourself and you and that horse get to do whatever you wish to do. Nothing is stopping you. Right now, allow yourself to imagine whatever it is that you want.
I want you to see yourself exactly as you desire in body, in mind, in spirit, in soul. Your true nature is to love and be happy, to explore and enjoy life. So see that horse and you saying a goodbye for right now and thank that horse in a way that you want to. And take some of that energy, some of that message with you or take all of it and find yourself walking back through the meadow where we began. You are barefoot. But you have recovered something very important. I want you to remember. What is it? My truth. nobody else's. In the next few breaths, find yourself right where your body is, breathing in right and breathing out here. Breathing in right and breathing out now. Allow the body to get more comfortable. Your eyes are still closed. You are still inside right here, allowing all of the other stuff out there. If it feels good, you can place your non-dominant hand over your heart with the other one covering it and stay there for as long as you wish and listen If you want to, you can place your hands now by your side. And begin to bring your attention down to your feet. You can point and flex. And then coming up through your legs, you can bend, stretch, whatever feels good to you. And then coming up through your hips, your tummy, your chest, across your shoulders and down your arms as you open and close your hands. If it feels good, you can stretch. You can also yawn.
and come up through the throat, your jaw slightly open. And then come all the way up and allow your attention to rest right behind your eyelids, still closed. Before you open your eyes, I want you to be gentle with you. Stay connected to the truth within you and allow anything that pulls you away from that to just go off not welcome slowly open your eyes and just gaze don't look don't strain With your eyes open, think about those words, our true nature, to love, to be happy, to explore and enjoy life. I invite you to grab your pen and paper if it feels right. You can also just go outside or move. Do whatever honors this time. And don't be so quick to give your time to everyone else. Until the next time that we get to do this again, I wish you more and more comfort, humor, and inspiration. Bye until next time.